What's up, everybody? I'm Sam, or Sam I Am. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantabulistic. Really excited to be here to do another project with you, my favorite people. Now, if you've been here before, then you know how I do things. If not, let me explain real quick. I use a number generator to get my colors. I have numbered all of my colors, my micas, pigment paste, alcohol inks, everything but my glitters and other embellishments. And to date, I'm at 587 different colors. So I enter the parameters of one through 587. I hit generate four different times to get four different numbers for four different colors. Now I have to use those colors that are generated in my project. Now there could be a time where I call a mulligan and that happens, it happens a lot. And the mulligan would be if one or more of the colors that are generated just aren't gonna work with the other colors. No matter what I add or try and mix with it, it's just not gonna work. So I'll call a mulligan and I'll generate another number for another color to replace that one. Now I have the option to add as many colors as I'd like in addition to these generated numbers, and I can add the embellishments that I want. I just have to use the generated numbers. You're probably asking why? Well, this is how I came up with helping my indecisive self. I was, I am, I'm very indecisive, the best word to describe it, when it comes to picking out colors for projects. I just can't do it, I just get a block. And with 587 colors, I mean, you would think that'd be very easy. But it's not, it really isn't. So this was the way I came up with to help me. And it has worked. It's really making working with resin that much more fun. And I'm glad you're here to see it. And hopefully it'll help you either come up with your own number generating system with your colors, or it'll help you with a color combination that I have come up with or that we've generated. So I think I've gone over everything that we need to go over, and now let's just get right into it. Let's generate some numbers. All right, the parameters, 587, and generate. 265 is our first number. Next, 133. 33 is my favorite number, by the way, PS. 341. And last number, 521. Okay, so I will pull these colors. I'll put you on hold, pull these colors, see what we got. If everything is kosher dill pickle, then we will um, proceed with our project the next time you see me. We will get ready for our party. All you have to do is hang tight. I'll be right back. Hey, I... Um, was going through everything that we got and I'm kind of liking it. I have an idea for a project, but after going through them, I realized I don't like this color that was generated, fuchsia. So I'm gonna see if I can generate something that will go with what I have going on. It's pretty cool, I think. Let's generate. 99, come on, give me something good. 99. Actually, that is good. 99, black onyx. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I needed. All right, gang, I'll be back. All right, guys, I got our stuff ready for our party. Let me go over the colors. 265 is a chameleon powder, wine, red, green from Colorful. 99 is black onyx from Black Diamond. It's a pigment powder. 341 is a generic off-white pigment powder. 521 is light yellow pigment powder from uh, Let's Resin. Colors I have chosen, I finally get to use this, is Ruth, also known as Tangerine from Pinata. Miss Ruth is Melody's mom. Melody is one of my angels. So this color is in honor of Ruth, and it is the color Tangerine from Pinata, an alcohol ink. Then 485 is Okinawa Green from Eye Candy. 560 is Cherry Blossom from Eye Candy. 579 is Fire Orange from Eye Candy. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do these cute little mushrooms. How cute are they? I don't know why I bought them. I just thought they were cute. So what better way to do them than today? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them inside out and use the mica to color them. 
and then I'll fill it up with Ruth. Slate Ruth, anyway, not dark orange, but. All right, so what I gotta do is flip them inside out and have different colors for all of them. So, all the little details, I should say. Yeah, I know I had this flipped out a minute ago. Here we go. All right. Y'all know what? I have a dog crying. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So let me start. I am going to do the roof. Where is the roof? How do I get to the roof? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. My name is Sam, and I'm a ding dong. <laughs> I'm going to do the red, the wine, for the bricks in the chimney. So let me go ahead and do that. Sorry, my dog's going to come out here and gag, y'all. She's crazy. She's got to have fresh water. I mean, she's got to see you get it out of the, the faucet or the water bottle. And she can have a whole bowl of it, but she doesn't want that. She wants you to get her fresh water. Seriously, crazy dog. She's a chihuahua. She's older. She's my baby. Okay. Got the window sill or the window. Uh, the outline of the window. I don't know exactly what you would call it. And I'm going to do the chimney. I think this is a good color for brick. Get there just a little more because I'm gonna do in the window yellow but I need around the window to be the brick all right now let me go ahead and do the yellow these little brushes came with something from Pixis they're pretty cool I bet this isn't open. Nope. Oh. It's open now. All right. Do the little window. Do the little window. Oh, I just got a text from my son. Uh, let's see. Now we got to do this. these little windows. This is going to be so cute. I had the regular mushroom, and then I saw the house mushroom, and I ordered that. Um and got it. I was like, oh, well now I can do them both. I don't think I actually did the other one yet. I don't think so. All right. Clean that off. Do the other side. I got to remember to get in here, y'all. A different angle now. I just got to remember. Sorry. Being rude, aren't I? It goes on very nicely, that's for sure. Okay. Now what? Let's do, oh yeah. I was going to do the red. No, I'm going to do black around the door. 
yeah, I'm going to do black around the door and around the windows. So, and the dots. That's kind of a lot of black, huh? Maybe I should do these windows red, too. Yeah, let me do that. Or wine. Yeah. I don't want to look like the House of Horrors. It's all black, right? I wish I knew where my Smurfs were because I would put them in the pictures with this. I have my little Smurf figurines since I was little. I love the Smurfs growing up. Love them. My room was done in them. I had the figurines. Stuffed animals. I mean, it was nothing like what kids get today, of course. But for my birthday and Christmas, which my birthday is 19 days before Christmas, so. All right, so we got those done. Now, let me do a little cleaning here. Just a little bit. I don't want the different colors in there. We want the right colors. Oh man. Lucky, lucky. Ducky, ducky. All right. Glad I didn't just mess that up. All right, now. I'm gonna do the black since I just wiped around here. I'll go ahead and do the black. Um, Oh man, set that up like that. Done with this. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I just had a major boo-boo. Oh, man. Of all colors. Look at that mess. I gotta hurry up because this my resin is gonna go bad. All right, this is not exactly clean, but it's the best I can get it. And I got to go. I got to roll. I don't know what's up with that, but hopefully it it does better. I mean, hopefully you can't see it. All right, what the heck? Sure is making a mess. All right, hopefully that's good. Got some areas in there that might be a little discolored. All right, let's try this one.
it sticks to the silicone and then it pops back. So all the, the dust comes off or the powder. Mm. I'm going to get it the best I can, guys. It's just not cooperating very good. Some of you may find this boring, I know. If you need to fast forward, I understand. But others, you can stay and hang. All right, I don't know how well that's gonna do, but I did the best I could. All right, now let's get the black around the door. See how it sticks to the silicone and then it pops? And of course, it's only doing that with the black. I guess I'll put yellow in that window, on that door. Or I guess I could put, oh look, this thing's ruined from the black. Mm, got another one. All right, what color now? Green for the grass. I gotta hurry up, my resin's getting hot. Stuck that all the way down in there. Well, I didn't get enough on there. Shit. <gasps> Sorry, y'all. You heard that. I try not to say bad words, but occasionally they slip. Okay, green around this guy. Oh, I gotta flip him inside out. Seriously have to hurry before that resin goes bad. Did not anticipate it taking this long to dust a little mushroom. Okay. All right, got that green. Now let's do the off-white with the mushroom stems, the little mushrooms. I 
of this looks cute. Really don't have a good judge of it right this second. I mean, I think it's all right. I don't think it's anything to write home to mama about, but you know. The little mushrooms, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm getting these little mushrooms that are by the house. I forgot to do this side, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. All right. Now, that front door. I'm going to do that red. I don't know what I have the orange out for. There we go. Now, let me pull this in there. Oh, wait a minute. Which way does it go? Yeah, like this. I'm trying to do it without touching it. I mean, I just had to touch the whole thing. Jeez Louise. Okay. So that's done. That's done. Now let's mix up our resin. I mean, I've already mixed up the resin. And all I'm doing is putting a little bit of orange for Ruth. I'm sorry. I'm putting a little bit of Ruth in. Just throwing this stuff out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. To color this. Just a little bit. Turn the mushrooms upside down. I thought orange would be a good color to go with all these. Or Ruth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now look, that color works good. And I mixed up 10 ounces of my resin of choice, clear cast 7,000. It's VOC free, it's a one to one ratio by volume. It cures crystal clear. And it's budget friendly, guys. Really, really is. Good resin. Highly recommend it. And I don't know that I have enough resin. I thought I mixed up plenty. I mixed up 10 ounces. For these two little guys, it should have been enough. This is really hot. I got to get it in there. I'm getting ready to lose it. I didn't mix it very well, but... At least I got it in there. Bear with me, guys. I'm here. I'm just rushing. I'm not going to have enough. 
That stinks. I mean, it's just short. At least it's an easy color to make. Look at that. I'm like a lot short. So what I'm going to do, since y'all have seen all the important stuff, I will, while you're on hold, I will make up more resin to add to this. What I'll probably do is go ahead and let them cure on the heat resin curing plate and then um, add it once they're cured. All right, they're too close to use a, um, what's my digger? Torch. So I just sprayed it with alcohol, y'all. If you've been here, you know I don't like to do that, but I don't have much of a choice. So I did it. All right, gang. Well, till this is cured, we don't have much to talk about, more to see. So I'll be back once these are ready to roll. All right, hang tight, guys. Hey gang, I forgot to hit record on the last part. I uh, mixed up some more resin to fill up how short I was on this one and a little bit on this one. Well, instead of just doing the color, I thought I'd put in some glitter. So I used these two glitters from Hobby Lobby, Color Shift Rose Shimmer and um, Color Shift Sunrise Shimmer. So I thought the two of those would go well with the orange and the other colors. My goggles are killing my face, y'all. I'm not lying. Um, so then I stuck some more because I'm still short on this. I mean, this little mushroom is deceiving, y'all. I'm not lying. I thought I had plenty, especially on the second time. Anyway, so I um, cured them. These are nice and cured. I put them on the resin curing plate in no time. And I've mixed up some more resin. I had it on the resin curing plate you know, that takes away from your working time. So I'm trying to let this get a little more cured so it's a little thicker. So all, see how all that glitter dropped? And you see the difference? The thing is hot too, buddy. So I'm going to try and keep it from doing that. Although it's probably going to look silly that the middle is clear and the top and the bottom isn't. But, oh well, hopefully it'll kind of blend better than, than I'm thinking. So anyway, I am going to do this, and I think it's ready to go ahead and do it. You know what? I'm going to give it a few more minutes, so I'll come back to you in just a few more minutes. I just didn't want you to think I forgot about you. Not that you would know, but I did forget about you. Hang on. There you go. It's pretty hot. Go ahead and put it in. sometimes. All right, I'm going to put this on the resin cure and plate. This one will be ready in probably 20 minutes. 29 minutes is what's on the timer. So I'll be back then. All right, gang, we are back with all of our cured mushrooms. And I had a couple of little things I added because we had extra glitter. When I finally got the right amount of resin in our mushrooms, jeez colors we use 265 is wine red green it's a chameleon powder from colorful 341 is a generic off-white 521 light yellow from let's resin 99 black onyx from black diamond 560 cherry blossom from eye candy 579 fire orange from eye candy 485 is Okinawa Green from Eye Candy. And then number 529 is Ruth, also known as Tangerine from Pinata. One of my angel's colors, Ruth. All right, let's see what we got. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need some alcohol to get these bad boys out. If you didn't know that, alcohol just makes these things slickery, so they'll come right on out for you. Otherwise, 
You got to fight it. Look, I'm fighting just to get a place to put the alcohol. Holy moly. I should have started this, but I didn't know it was going to take this long. What in the world? Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to get something to start it. Silly. There we go. Definitely need the alcohol. Great. This thing's tight. Great. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get to put it up next to my bosom, y'all. Aww. How cute! The colors turned out really good. Aww. Alright, let's see what our other one looks like. Oh, the roof goes on this one. difference in the layers that looks pretty cool see how it's got oh, a little slippery still how the glitters at the top and the glitters at the bottom so the middle is full of daggone bubbles but it's there all right let's try our other one very cute maybe i should have done them in different colors bubbles. I don't like that. My resin doesn't get bubbles. What is that? You can't see the green that I put around the bottom for the grass. Hmm. Alright. Let's see what this roof looks like. I'm not impressed with that one in the bubbles at all. I guess the other one's got the bubbles too when it's in a little mold like this, but I haven't had trouble like that before. go black dots on top another cute little mushroom yeah it's the smurf houses that's papa smurf that's brandy smurf or how about smurfette right now my hair's blind enough to be smurfette y'all haven't seen it this blonde i've had it done since i was last on camera by the last time i'll be on camera <laughs> anyway i think these turned out really cute what do you guys think you got to let me know. You got to give me a thumbs up if you think I did well. And if you're while you're there, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button, maybe signing up for notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new color combination is coming out, as well as maybe sharing me. That would be awesome. Who doesn't want to share Sam I am? Then I have two pieces of business to discuss. I still have my giveaway going on for my subscribers. When I reach 500, I'll be doing a giveaway 
All the details are down in the description. I also have an honorary color in your name for help and support the channel. All the details again are down in the description. If you would take a moment to catch up on that, maybe you'd be willing to take advantage of it. I appreciate you all being here. I love you much. And until next time, take care. Bye.